Hey guys, welcome back to the mill. <clears throat> Look behind me. I got rid of that slab pile. And that's a good thing because today we're working on the front of the sawmill shed here. And all that crap was in the way. So I didn't really get rid of it. I just relocated it. Uh, a little warm out here. Run a chainsaw and cut all that up or wherever I'm going to do with it. I haven't really decided yet. But yeah, this morning we're working on the front here. So let me show you what we got. All right, here's what we got going on. Cut these two or four pieces at an angle. They go up to the LVL up there. And uh, we'll cover these up and make a nice little, you know, angle up there. Look up there, I got two of the uh, fascia boards on. Still got this end to do. I've still got this post to do to put the angle, angle braces on. And I've got my angle brace on down there. So, uh, yeah, we'll get these two pieces on here. And then we're going to start covering this up. We got to get going because the rain is coming. I'm hoping I don't get rained out today, but you don't know. I'm hoping it's going to go up around us. But we got to get crack lacking so let's go. Alright, here's our first two pieces. Uh... I used deck screws on these to put them on because I had to take them off and put them up quite a few times to get my angle. If you look at the back side here, I'm leaving about a inch and a half down from that. That'll allow for it to shrink up and not show up on that, show that two before. And uh, yeah, around the outside here, see I got a big gap. But that's okay, we'll just lay a board right across there. It'll look just like a batten strip. We'll let that come down. And I should be okay, I think. But yeah, that's what it looks like. And uh, we'll keep going across that top. And uh, I'll bring you back when we get a few up. So, hang on. Alright guys, what I'm doing on these braces, I'm just taking my pencil, marking it right down the board, and then we'll move it down, I think it's an inch and a half, I'll show you over here on my square, all I'm doing is lining it up back here. And it's just this thickness, just this thickness right here. I'll line this line the line up with right here and then mark it on the outside here. So it's just that thick, about an inch and a half. And that's how we're doing that.
All right, guys. Uh, there it is. Finished product. Uh, all only thing left now is uh, batten strips. And uh, as a little bonus, I even got the end done. Look at that trim there. We even filled in that crack. Remember our crack here? This piece right here. We messed it up up there. I forgot to cut it with the roof line, so ignore that. We're going to take that back off and fix it. But yeah, other than that, there it is. All oak. For all you newbies, I got into a bunch of oak given to me, so we sawed it up and made a sawmill shed. So, there you go. Alright guys, well that's going to do it for this week. Uh, hope you enjoyed the sawmill shed build. I'm going to call that a wrap up. I'm probably not going to film the putting the battens on. I still got to trim the west end there so we'll finish that up off camera too and uh you guys come back next week i got a special log for you we're gonna play a little game so come back next week and we'll play guess the wood because i have no idea what it is so we're gonna put that on the sawmill and saw it up into slabs and uh live edge slabs yeah so come back next week that's what we're doing and uh as usual i appreciate you and we'll see you next week thanks <laughs>